Hi, this is Pat Morhen. We are back at the 6-5 Summit, day one, talking about pretty much my favorite topic, if you read any of our research, and that is the hybrid multi-cloud. It's exciting, it's hot, and quite frankly, it's what enterprises want. And I'm really pleased to have Caitlin from Dell Technologies here. How are you? I'm awesome. My favorite topic as well. How about that? I know. It's great. Uh, we were at Dell Tech World a couple weeks ago, and there was a lot of discussion about multi-cloud by design. I mean, by the way, that makes perfect sense. Um, but I thought maybe you can explain that. Where did, where did it come from? Uh, how are your customers asking for it? And how did you arrive at it? It started with our customers. And no, our customers, of course, don't walk in saying this, but kind of the, yeah. the sentiment of the conversations was, I have my hyperscaler partners, in most cases, of choice. Maybe a primary, a secondary, maybe I acquired a company, so I have another one. Right. And then I have on-prem vendors, which I've somewhat standardized on, but it almost felt more like multi-contract, right? And, right? and it kind of evolved into this concept of, I've ended up in multi-cloud, but it was by default. Right. I didn't really design them to work maybe together. Maybe accidental. <laughs> maybe maybe we tripped into it a little right. bit. And, and obviously, like everything else, over the past three years, people have taken a step back and said, maybe there's a better right. way. How do you make these work together? How do you actually simplify that? And that's really the idea of what is multi-cloud by design. So I, I, uh, I talk to a Fortune 500 enterprise weekly, maybe every, every other week, and literally there is not a single one that doesn't have more than one IS provider. And, and when I've talked about what the future looks like with maybe acquisitions, maybe mergers, maybe having sovereign clouds, I mean, it, I mean, it is a multi-cloud world. I'm there, uh, I've been there, and I'm glad uh, to see Dell uh, step up to the plate. And the way that these, that these enterprises have been working with it is they have separate DevSec, ops, networking, you know, the full stack uh, team, app teams uh, per, per cloud. And what that's created is an incredible amount of, of complexity, right? Uh, so enter Dell, right? And again, this is not new to Dell. You have been talking multi-cloud for, for a while, but you are putting a lot of wood behind solutions to help solve that complexity. Can you talk about how you're solving this complexity? Uh, for enterprises? Yeah, and you hit the nail on the head, which is that multi-cloud by definition means multi-vendor, which means different operating models, which means different skill sets. And then what we see people doing is exactly that. They have to set up teams, not only for an on-premise state, but for multiple different public clouds, which means they have to have skills across all of those areas. And there's skills gaps everywhere in every industry and certainly in IT. So you have a, just a skills challenge to be able to support all those different operating models. You have different silos for your data, not to mention the fact that that inefficiency means your developers aren't as productive right. as you need to. And that's really what we were trying to solve. There's so many people and operational challenges as how do you simplify that? But also simplify it in a way that still allows you to have choice. You want to be able to have that flexibility. We know for years, even when before right. the public cloud, it's always been multi-vendor. That's not a new strategy. What's right. different is now it's multi-vendor, but it's spread. Right? The locations, the security is more challenging than ever. So you need the choice, but you also can't deal with that level of complexity. You, you quite literally financially cannot right. deal with that level of complexity. So it's really simplifying that. And simplifying that means a variety of different things. And that's a lot of the announcements that we made a few weeks ago. Yeah, it is interesting. If I look at, I've been in, in tech for over 30 years. If I look at uh, you know, mainframe, the mini uh, client server, uh, all the different ways uh, you can put this and then you layer on the edge, uh, on-prem, public cloud, uh, the, the choices are actually growing in, in where it can be. And, and as I said before, um, the future will be even, even more complex. So putting uh, some standards, putting process and putting tools around to be able to wrangle that is, is of, of immense value. And to do this, it, it takes a village, right? And in fact, at Dell Tech World like a few weeks back, you did make uh, some announcements uh, with some partners uh, that I'm going to I'm going to give you credit. You know, I, I track a lot of companies that say that they're multi-cloud, and you actually put other logos on when other companies don't. That's a pet peeve of mine, and this is a a compliment that you actually put other companies, your partners in your ecosystem, on the slide with you. Can you talk about some of your announcements? 
and, and it was more than just the names on the slide. There's a little bit of work that went into that. So I, it, it is. I'm an analyst. I can live in slide world. You know, I used right? I, for 15 years. <laughs> I lived in slide world too. Now we've been at, you know, someone who lives day to day working with right. these partners. It is incredibly powerful and exciting to see those on the slide. But more importantly, it's what our customers are asking for. You know, the world that we have been living in is that you do have these different vendors. And although obviously Dell and VMware have worked really closely together, yes. VxRail has been incredibly successful being able to partner that way. We hadn't necessarily done that as an industry in general. Right. And that's really the paradigm shift that we're really pushing for. And the really fun part is over the, na the last six to nine months, working with all these partners is they see it too. This doesn't work unless both of us come to the table and try to solve that same problem for our right. customer and we both understand what we each can bring. Now, they're each a little bit different, right? You have VMware continuing to lead virtualization. You have Red Hat leading for Kubernetes on-prem. And then you have Microsoft leading from hybrid <laughs> cloud. Incredibly powerful. And there are some challenges involved with working with three partners at the same time, but we're right. doing it for one really important reason. Our customers need it. They're asking for it. Exactly. Um, I view this as a maturation, okay? By my calendar, the cloud started in 2004 with a queuing service, okay? And then moved to a storage service uh, about two years later. Um, and there wasn't even this notion. I mean, the industry tried uh, to have a private cloud uh, and that private cloud, those were still operating at, at telcos and at retail. Uh, but this notion though of uh, control plane, the ability to go across and getting the cooperation from the other side, right? Because it, it, you have to connect with something, okay? And, and what I like is the maturation of the industry that, uh, that companies need each other who uh, typically wouldn't talk to each other. And, and there's this realization too with, I mean, 90% of, of spend is still on-prem and that, that hasn't changed for a long time and, and there's a reason. So I'm great. We have a teenager now, okay, that's 19 years old <laughs> that call, called the cloud doesn't know everything, isn't perfect, still making a lot of mistakes, but I'm, 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 glad, uh, I'm glad to see uh, where we are. Um, what is your strategy uh, to, uh, uh, to wrangle this, right? What's your starting point, your solidifying point? I think you talked about this at, at Dell Tech World. Yeah, there's really three components, make it really simple. Part one is what we call ground to cloud. So specifically, how do we take that Dell software that traditionally we've right. been deploying in purpose-built appliances and people's data centers, take that software and bring it into the public cloud. We started with right. data protection. We've been doing that for years. Now we're doing that with storage. We have our new Apex storage for public cloud, really right. enabling that workload flexibility that customers have been looking for. Ultimately, customers are finding that those native storage services in the public cloud just can't provide what you get on-prem, resilience, performance, that scalability, and that's what we're doing in that ground to cloud. But that's one. That's just part one. Right. There's always three. I was in marketing for a Listen, long time. Listen, I, I like three. simple too. So, <laughs> and I think you're. I think customers uh, like simple just for education. Not that it's perfectly easy to, to implement, but they have to start somewhere. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And you have to start where they are. And some people, that's, right. that's where they are. Now, on the, on the flip side, we have what we now call our cloud to ground strategy. Right. So pretty simply, kind of the opposite. How do we take not just cloud operating models, that's something we've been talking about as an industry for a long time, but actually the cloud operating environments themselves. This is the partnerships right. with, v with VMware, with Microsoft, with Red Hat, to not only bring those operating systems on-prem, because obviously you can do that today, but do it in a way that it is first horizontally optimized for simplicity. Right. Same software-defined storage, same compute platforms, same automated management orchestration, but then tightly vertically integrated into each one of those stacks. It is right. truly the easy button for each one of those. That wasn't enough because you need three, but also <laughs> you need the right experience right. for all of that. And, yeah. and you know, I think I really like what our marketing team came up with for Dell Tech World, which is this concept of air traffic control. How do you simplify that? And right. the, the nerdy way we all talk about it is the control plane, right? What is the SaaS-based control plane experience for that? How do you really simplify that? Because you really need that fleet operations to go with it as well. And that's right. the new Apex Navigator that we introduced. By the way, I like cloud to ground. I, I, I like that so much. I wish I had invented that myself. Um, and it, my background, right, is product management and product marketing. So I, I admire 
uh, the threes and simplification. Not that it's simple technology. In fact, most things that accomplish a lot are very complex underneath. And the challenge is that third element, which is that experience part, right? Which is is, is making it, you know, literally the best of why they signed up for the public cloud. So, uh, good stuff here. So, this is a journey for sure, right? I talked about uh, cloud being 19 years old and and at stage, uh, it will grow. It, it will go. Things. What are you thinking about uh, in terms of uh, of the future? What what's on your mind? What do you think is going to be on your customers' mind as as they get on this journey. Turns out the public cloud in my career about the same age. <laughs> so that works out well. Maybe it was always meant to be. You know, I think it's we're in a really unique position as Dell. We're honored to be in that position because our customers are coming to us, our partners are coming to us, and they see this fundamental challenge. At the same time, we're in a new space. We are in uncharted waters. The breadth of what we are doing, that really the depth of what we're trying to accomplish, the amount of different partners we're working with. So what we know is ahead is to get these initial offers in market and listen to our customers. Right. I think if I'm going to make a kind of a couple areas that I see growing a lot, not to use too many buzzwords, but I think accelerating DevOps adoption and getting our customers along that curve. Right. There's so few that are in the maturity that they need to be. And at the same time, part of that is using more AI in, having more intelligence built into some of these things. How can Navigator become smarter over time? Right. How can these cloud platforms get even smarter over time so that you really start bringing that whole thing together and bring that to that next level? Ultimately, the fewer resources you can use to have to stand up and manage day to day your infrastructure, the more you can invest in other things. And that's ultimately what we're trying to enable our customers to do. And as you said, that level of simplification is highly complex yes. on the back end. That's what we're trying to take on. That's our burden. Uh, how are you looking at the, <laughs> let's say, market evolution of this? You talk a little about CICD and developers. But, uh, is there any difference in how you see the overall market shaping up here? I mean, is it going to be a, you know, a land of fabrics, right? Or a hybrid <laughs> multi-cloud or you know, something, something different, uh, more players, less players. I think what we're hearing from customers is, is a couple of things. How do you have fewer players, but make the right bets on those players? I know it's got, not going to be a set of one. It's not right. going to be a set of 25. It's going to be somewhere in between. But we also know that customers, even though they can do certain things, they're no longer willing to or wanting to invest their time in that. So I think you're going to see more of a standardization of who you're working with on-prem, but not thinking of on-premise distinct from your public cloud, right. and really making the bets about where you can make those things work together. Um, and I, otherwise, I think customers are really asking us to come together for them and really bring that next level of simplicity. And how do we help their, their data centers and their right. strategies evolve? Because ultimately, it's, it's cloud optimization. It's really taking a step back and truly putting workloads where they belong. I think the industry is generally stepping back and really looking at where that's going to end up. Yeah, I, I agree, by the way. And it really is a natural market evolution. When new technologies, new capabilities start, people really enjoy the options, OK? And then in areas like security, too many options, it gets, it gets uh, burdensome to make it all come together. And, you find that you're spending more time making all the different pieces to come together uh, and you're on you know, the back three back revs and, and you're not even getting, quote unquote, a best of breed experience. So uh, I, I agree uh, with that evolution. By the way, usually it's not the mutual admiration club here of agreement, but <laughs> uh, I, uh, Dell Technologies Multi-Cloud, your strategy and the way you're rolling it out uh, is, is something that I had talked about probably a decade ago and I'm I'm glad to see this is the way that it's uh, that it's ending up, and definitely, you know, not a public cloud denier of uh, being a supplier to the public cloud uh, uh, for years. But it's just natural. It's what customers want, it's right? What customers and, want. And Dell, you know, typically, if there's one guiding star from the in and around Dell since its existence, is listening, literally listening to their cust listening to your customers, and and acting behind that. Of course, tell you know early signals to get ahead of it, because if you're always building what they're asking for, you're always going to be three years late. But it really is, I've seen historically, it's kind of a hallmark of Dell. Yeah, it's listening to our customers and bringing in the right partners and sometimes bringing them along on that journey. Exactly. Kayla, I want to thank you 
uh, for being part of uh, day one of the Six Five Summit uh, and talking about my literally my favorite topic, uh, which is the hybrid multi-cloud. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you having me. I'm highly biased, but I agree with you. <laughs> Good. Let's do this again. Yes, absolutely. Appreciate that. This is Pat Moorhead signing off for the Six Five Summit in this segment uh, with Caitlin from Dell, who loves multi-cloud too. So it's a perfect combination. Hope you'll stick around for more day one content. And also we have day two and obviously day three. Thanks and take care.